there's been many, many huge catastrophes in the past, and that's what you track and uh, have also deciphered the cycle of the energy patterns, well, the realm that we live in. You're very kind in your assessment of what I have found. Uh, for those of you who have never seen me, I don't normally show myself on camera, okay? Uh -huh. I, I'm on here with these two guys, and they look way better than I do, just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> Man, oh no, it's it's really good to be on here. And we're going to talk about a few of the things that I found. I'll do a screen capture and we'll show um, the indisputable evidence of giant structures that have I found while searching earthquakes. The way it all started, and I will explain as we go along, how I found it, how I found you guys, how I found mud flood and uh, Tartaria and all that. Because I, at the uh, starting about three years ago, I was clueless on all these topics, and I actually came across a uh, a music video of a guy playing drums, recent Tartarians, and I came across that by searching. I was searching for the ancient history of Greece. I was searching up these. Uh, somebody <laughs> had told me a, a legend of Zeus and Kronos and the gods of ancient Greece and tossing mountains, and they had these. Uh, hundred handed creatures that were the size of mountains that could toss mountains. And those creatures fought with the Titans against Zeus and the gods. And they got tossed down to a place called Tartarus. And I was searching Tartarus and up comes recent Tartarians drum guy, which then led me to Zertus and a bunch of videos by him who I'm like, what's this guy talking about? And that then led me to go look at things in a little bit different way on the shapes of things. And next thing you know, within a few months, I'm noticing earthquakes striking. And the earthquakes, as I zoomed in on them, I noticed were part of, well, I'm not doing the Illuminati sign, just so everybody knows. The Starforge shape. Illuminati confirmed. Okay, it's this shape, <laughs> like that, okay? It's a, it's a diamond shape, not, not the yeah. Jay-Z, whatever. But I'm just doing that shape with my hand so you can see it. We're going to jump right over to Google Earth. And I'll show you starting. And it brings back the actual real possibility that every, what we've been taught to believe as fictional legends of our histories were in fact uh, the actual realities. And that uh, the Hopi legend, I see, uh, the turtles back to the Titans, to the giants, or the gods, the Titans, giants, and then us, and then potentially even going into a new uh, fifth age of the sun. Okay, um, this is Antarctica. Okay, so for instance, here's Australia, here's Africa, here's South America. Now, I noticed that a series of earthquakes are striking up here, right next to our letter X, right up here. Now, when you look at South, uh, the whole South Pole, or whatever you want to call this, Look at it. I want you to see. Well, I'm not going to tell you what to see, but I'm going to tell you the shape that is here. And I'm not doing paradelia. This is physically oh, in the plates. First of all, we have a spade shape. Now, it's not completed all the way. It's a spade shape, though. Okay. At the center, it looks like a spade symbol. Uh, now, I see what you're you. saying there. Okay. Yeah. Now, around the outside edges are the actual fractures of the plate boundary. And let me back it out just so ever so slightly. Starting back here. Okay, we have the classic starport pentagonal shape around the outside edge of all of all uh, of the entire South Pole going out to Australia over to the east, going out to Africa over to the west and going up to the middle of the Indian Ocean where it shoots out like a lightning bolt out and going up to the north. Now, I'm going to explain this all to you. What I found, I measured this. I measured this from the far back south and I'll show you it on Google Earth. So you know I'm not tripping just on my copy of Earthquake 3D. That it's all about orientation on how you view the Earth. You guys already know this looking at the geoglyphs around the planet and all the different things that you're finding. But when I look at it this way, now you can really see it on the plate. Do you? See, first of all, I should ask, do you see it? Do oh, you see five hundred percent? Here it is on the screen. Okay, I mean you can see a thousand different examples of it. Here's one, the famous one in Holland, but this is the shape we're talking about, okay? So this shape right here on screen on the sides of the star fort is this shape around Antarctica itself with a spade symbol. 
Okay. Now, just, it, you, you know, you, you might think that I'm just seeing things or whatever, but now I'm going to take you over to Google Earth and we're going to, I know we're using the round earth, whatever, but it doesn't matter because we're going to zoom into where it's flat. We're going to zoom into a, a view flat onto the earth, so to speak. And now we're looking at California. In case you don't know, this is California. Bring this back to north. And this is the way people normally look at California. All right. Now, I'm going to turn it sideways to see what we're talking about here. You don't really have to look too hard to see it. It is no. the exact same shape as a star fort. It starts back here, goes up to here. It's about 125 miles exactly, almost at 25. And then up to here. This is points up to the San Andreas. It's 300 miles long total, and it's in the topography of the mountains itself. These are mountains. These are not rivers. There are rivers that flow along them, but these are actual thousands of foot high mountains. I can move my mouse over. It goes up 1,500, 2,000 feet high. It's Major 300 miles ranges. long. Now, I mean, get this. In the middle of each one, and there's more than one. There's three of them going all the way up to the Washington State. There's three huge ones. There's a military base in the middle of each one where we launch nuclear bombers from this one. And they built a big X marks the spot in the middle of each one, too. I will show you at least 10 more examples of this where there's a military base or U.S. government base built right in the middle pinnacle tip of one. This is 300 miles long. Look, guys, I'm measuring just straight back to the back end. Look where it goes back to. Is that the, the Grand, Grand Canyon? Yeah. That's the Grand Canyon. Yes, sir. It's blown out on the back side. It's like on literally the right inverse side. features to the extremes uh -huh. on each end of it. And that at, at the t intersections and tips of each of these angles are these energy nodes that now the military or the um, powers that be in highest technology are using their uh, building their sites on. Right. And now I can prove this. This is at first I would understand people would be skeptical. But with Edwards Air Force Base in the middle, you might say we're just tripping on the right side over here, right on this side of the star fort or what, I, what I'll call a star fort is Area 51 and the nuclear test sites. Here's the nuke test sites. And now the nukes tie in on this. I'll explain in a minute the nukes. But here, these are all underground craters. Here's Area 51 right next to it. So on one side of this giant star fort, which it is, and it's symmetrical, and it's the same measurement on both sides. That's key to this is that these are down to the mile on all sides the same. Now on the west side over here is the U.S. Marines training base and bombing range called 29 Palms on this side and where they store a bunch of nuclear material. So nuclear material, bombing range on this side. Nuclear material, Area 51 and bombing range on this side. And in the middle pinnacle tip is Edwards Air Force Base. Now, over here, there's two more. They're harder to see, but they are there. And I have measured them in the topography, and I'll do it for you right now. Going up to the north and back down to the south, it's a giant triangular shape. It's the old ocean that used to be in here. And on the back right side of it is Salt Lake City, the Big Depression. So on the back right side of one of them, we have the Grand Canyon. On the back right side of this one, which I will measure for you and show you, it's the same distance from the back to the front. Again, we're going 300, 350 miles. At the pinnacle tip of this is another military base. This one is where we store nukes again. This is the Sierra Army Depot in the middle pinnacle tip of the second one. Now, there's a third one. It's easy to see. So over on the east, far eastern side or the northern side, this is Washington State, Bend, Oregon. Here's the Puget Sound in Seattle. And here is our giant third part of the 300-mile-long star fort. And it has a giant crater at the back side. What's in the pinnacle tip? And it's the same geometry as oh, yeah. what you originally showed Sorry, around the sneezed. Antarctic. I almost just sneezed in the microphone. At the pinnacle tip is not a military base, though. At the pinnacle tip of this one is the Facebook, Facebook. And, yeah, Facebook and Apple data center is at the pinnacle tip of this one. And I'll, I'll turn on my label so you can see I'm not exaggerating. This really is the Facebook data center. See, Facebook data center and zoom in, Apple data center. They've built their data centers in the middle one up on the east side. So now that's three of them. One, two, three. All three of them have a pinnacle tip 
something in the middle, significant, and a blast outside on the back side, all three of them. Now, you'd have to say that that's coincidence with all three with the military base in the middle of them. But there's another one, an even bigger one, and it's in the Midwest U.S. This gets into what I found, guys, and what my wife found. I'm looking at the Midwest like this. Here is St. Louis, Missouri right here where I live. And on this over here is the town of New Madrid, Missouri. You guys may have heard of the town of New Madrid from the great New Madrid earthquake right here, town of New Madrid. So what I want to show you is the exact same shape in the actual mountains of Missouri pointing down to Oklahoma. And on the left side is New Madrid. On the right side is St. Louis. On the far right side over here, Kansas City. And on the pinnacle tip, Muskogee, Oklahoma, and Tulsa, Oklahoma, on the left-hand side is Little Rock. We're built out at like a pentagon all the way around it, and this one is 300 miles long. And I'll measure it from back to front to show it to you. It's pointing somewhere, which I'll show to you in a second, but it's almost right down to the mile of the size of the ones over in California. Now, this is significant because on the left side here is New Madrid, and on the right mm -hmm. side, here are the Cahokia Mounds, right across from St. Louis, right in here. They're directly across from downtown St. Louis. And I know I've got the map turned sideways, so I'll bring it in here and show you why the Cahokia Mounds matter. Here, let me get the Cahokia Mounds on here, first of all. Here's downtown St. Louis. We go due east, and they are right in here along the train tracks. I don't have my really? place marks on. But anyway, okay, so why, is, why are the Cahokia Mounds there. significant? On the back, this is a giant 300-mile-long one. Look it's at plain. that. Look, Look at it, right? No. right? Now, to seal the deal that this means something, Once we're going to zoom in on the them, back. You can't unsee them. They're literally everywhere. Look at this. Look at this. On the side of it, this one's huge. Fractals. And on the side of it is a tiny one that's six. Well, it's tiny. It's six miles by nine miles. And that's right here. And this is made of mountains. And I'll wait for the imagery to load because it looks like it's just tree clear cuts but no these are actual foothills this goes up from 300 feet to 600 feet it's 400 feet high almost and it's exactly down to the mile six miles by nine miles see nine miles looks yeah. like a diamond right okay nine miles nine miles six miles 5.9 i'm not doing it exactly and 5.9 to six and now this here's new madrid here's the tiny star fort now, right across the river, if I turn it this way, we go over here, right over here, and this is the Ohio River where it comes down and meets up with the New Madrid. Go over to the east of the Ohio, and that gets in with what my wife found. But before we get into what my wife found, which is huge, we got to get back to this one. This one here, where St. Louis is on this side. I just showed you the Star Fort down here. It's indisputable six miles by nine miles. Over here in St. Louis is the one I did a video on on my YouTube channel, which is excellent the, this, video, by the this way. This one right here, which is in downtown St. Louis, there is the old Star Fort, which is confirmed, and the Geospatial Agency, the agency that does the mapping for all this stuff for LIDAR, <laughs> for ground penetrating radar. They're building their new headquarters right in the middle of this one which I will trace out for you with my mouse if right I need to. Right in the but center of the old, right? You can see the same angles there. And then you showed yep. the old map of it. And we've looked at these maps many a time over. And that, and the water tower, and it's a very famous uh, remaining St. Louis water tower. This here is significant. This is huge. Nice. Because right across the river, here are the Cahokia Mounds. And I will zoom in on them. They're, they're right here. Let me... And so the train the right tracks way. just hidden up. Okay. And now this has government installation built in the middle of it. Now there's one more. It's going to blow your mind. I already showed you the big one. Let me show it to you again. It is right here. It is five-sided. That's undeniable fractals repeating patterns over now, look, and over again. There's a smaller one that's built in to the bigger one. And I'll trace it out for you so you can see it. And I'm not paradealing this. This is really here. It's it's one quarter of it is well, its own 
you measure them out over and over again. It's the numbers don't lie. Numbers can't lie. This one right here, let me zoom in on the middle of it because look what's here. Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri, the big army training base. Do you see the snake? The snake's head and the shape of the craton itself. Oh, yeah, I can see the yeah. head. Okay. Its oh, head's cut off right at the New Madrid. This is New Madrid, the town of New Madrid. Okay. Now, this this gets really heavy. Okay, so the, the Star Forge is here, six by nine. Backing it yeah. out, we have a bigger one with a military base in the middle of it, Fort Leonard Wood. That makes up yeah. one quarter of the bigger one that goes out and points this way. Now, yeah. you're not going to believe it. It goes somewhere. Let me show you. We're going to just go from the back end of it out the middle of it like it's pointing pointing somewhere and we're going to go out we're just going to draw it here let's well i'm going to make sure it's lined up don't worry but right there okay it's just i'm just bringing it randomly out into the ocean pretty far you can see we're going out into the ocean from this now i'm going to follow this we're going to go across we're going next to our california star fort that i already showed you and we go out into the ocean here look what's there this is one of the more famous quote unquote ufo places according to the mainstream media they said this was uh at first they said it was a mistake of underwater bathometric measurements and that the ships must have been crisscrossing in a way like that caused just the shape. size of it like those are mountain ranges and trenches like that's yeah. such a macro size it's unbelievable lower right hand corner of the screen you might not be able to see it it shows our elevation you can see they're like two and three hundred feet high and two and three hundred feet deep some of them are mounds the others are trenches but notice the direction that which they go in. This is 5,000 feet okay, down in the ocean. Just pause for one second and give like visualization for people. They tried claiming that they had misdredged these themselves for the, how they got them there. And it's like uh, these things are a difference of 400 feet from the 200 mm. up they go and the 200 down they go that they've carved into... Sorry the bedrock and uplift it's a hundred miles long the damn thing's a hundred miles long and it's it's again 200 feet one side 300 feet deep the other and it goes into the plate this is five thousand feet down in the ocean and you can clearly see these go into the plate like some kind of entrance or something yeah. now weirdly it points in the same direction back to this to the big to this big guy now I understand there's going to be people that try to say that's paradelia, but with the military bases in the middle of each one, and what does this point to? The famous Muskogee Airmen Base from World War II. World War II Muskogee Airmen were, were training there of all the places out of Tulsa. And yeah. now look at this one. This one's a mind blower because yeah. this gets into star forts. Actual star forts has in Bastion Fort. This one, which makes up a good part of the Caribbean, and part of the arm of it goes underneath the United States and ends right down here. You can barely see it. It goes under the Florida Keys. And in the Florida Keys, right here, is our famous Fort Jefferson, the hexagonal uh -huh. brick star fort, where yeah. they got out here and supposedly built this in the Civil War, which is total BS. They did not build this in the Civil War. It's got Byzantinian, it, like cannons are going to be up there or something, please. Uh, they built a walkway around this thing. This thing's made out of solid brick. Let me get this actually. So oh, I just love it. how it's got a moat, but it's it's in the ocean, right? <laughs> Look at it. Oh, Byzantinian yes. construction. And they got a big radio tower they built on it, by the way. And, These are the and dry that's right. Like how many like uh, hurricanes have gone through this area and that it's completely withstood and surviving? Like, Oh, just... it's impossible. You know, I, now, it's got a, an island over here that and points in a direction. They're, they're all yeah. man-made. Those the, the Starfort Islands, at least two-thirds, if not probably 100% of the Starfort Islands are man-made islands, just like they admit Nan Madol was that we just showed you a little bit earlier, and that, that that's a key part of it. Now you're seeing these same fractals being reused in an architectural layer and building method on these same exact energy points and being used by man in our in the architecture or yeah. somewhat i like agree no i agree with everything you just said that key west florida right here on the screen the southernmost tip of the united states if we go due west of key west in the nature preserve we've got an old star fort shaped arrow shaped island and in the middle of it 
we have an old carved geoglyph of a iguana, which was not in the United States until the 1700s. So this is older than that, which means right, there I was see an this one. You showed me this I, or the last time yeah. I saw it. I was just like, or this sorry, is, showed all of us this. I was watching yeah. live. And like, this is Key West. This is west of Key West. And then here's our star fort out here built in the ocean that they said was built in the Civil War. But I'm challenging that. I don't think it was. No, How did they build islands during the Civil War? Like yeah, at that time period, it just like it's impossible. Six nine like, million. During the Civil War, we decided to take and Campbell, you you've done several uh, videos on that one. And how many bricks mm. is it or something? Sixteen, I think, sixteen million. Sixteen million bricks they would have all, had to make as, ship out to as, as on ships. Apparently, yeah, it's just a silly story. It is, and I mean, what, what point does what point does a fort in the ocean serve? Like boats oh. would just sail around it. It doesn't make any sense at all. Yeah, With, like no. cannons, can, cannons can only shoot, what, 20 miles at the most? Exactly. So, so you start, start with 25 and just go, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> right. It's like dumb. Now, I made a video on this part, which here are the Florida Keys. Just showed you the star, <coughs> un, in, indisputable, this is in the shape of the star fort with the uh, geoglyph inside. But this, this one was controversial, but up here in the woods, or, well, not the woods, in the swamps themselves mm. is another one. Now, I'm going to trace it out for the people who can't see it, but it's right. What drew my eye to it was this right angle in the trees itself. And I was looking through the Everglades. I just so happened to be, you know, just so happened to be looking through the Everglades and I found the star fort. Now, really, the way I found this was the giant city. Do you see this, first of all? Now, yep. on the inside of it is another one. Another one. This yep. one. Yep. And it's got this on the side of it letting us know that that was actually, this has been made at some point in the past. That's circular, perfect circle. Anyway, this thing is out here in, this is a small one inside of the greater one that's here, that's in the swamp. This is now swamps of Southern Florida. But the real thing is this. This is what it is. This, I'm gonna turn it around so you can see it better. But I made a video on this already. And this is, well, I already measured it but I'll measure it again for you on here live. It's two and a half to three miles. On, well, if we, depending on where you measure on the corners, where the blown out corners are, it's three by five miles. Now I understand that there's going to be people that say that it's paradelia, what I'm seeing here or what anybody can see. If you just look at the screen is that it's a rectangle surrounded symmetrically by lines that spread out in all directions, like an old bastion. And this is the Florida keys. Now these connect out to the keys in all directions like a spider wave. And I wouldn't ask anybody to accept any of that except for on the back side of it, back up here in the woods, back up here in the marshes is the star fort that it connects to on the back side, which is indisputable in the topography here. It really is there. That's not just a river. That is the real shape going right into the back end of this huge, this is all underwater. Now the name of the key here is called Dildo Key. <laughs> what? <laughs> and, oh no no hold on I'm sorry I'm sorry dildo and Johnson key side by side. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> yeah. oh no 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 hey before anybody gets a dirty mind it's named after the dildo cactus. Oh my god, don't use that whatever you do. Yeah. So <laughs> they like named those in, instantly I any thoughts you had just it's horrible. It's like, and the reason they did that, I think is that if anybody found this, that they would have to report they found something out by that key. <laughs> and then it would, you know, the media can't report on it. Nobody's going to touch it. Nobody's going to look into it. And now it could, it could just be a subtle little message saying, go and F yourself. Yeah, basically it is. And so <laughs> what this is, is an evidence of an ancient civilization. The, the petroglyph or the geoglyph that's carved into the star fort shaped island. This proves that, that, ancient people had the ability to sculpt and shape an island in the shape of a giant diamond that's bigger than anything that the Chinese could build today. Oh,